Designs. Um, hi guys, welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, no, Alfie, that's naughty. Don't start. So, um, just very quickly, I was trying to finish my... Um, oh, sorry, it's feeding time at the zoo. Um, just pencils, uh, sorry, watercolours in Joanna Basford's Christmas. Um, and then Hubby came in and hey, the books had arrived. So um, I thought I'd do a very quick ah, unboxing. Oh, let's have a look, guys. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit. Yay, 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 yay. Ooh, da, da, da. <gasps> oh, I tell a fib it wasn't thingy. Ooh, that's in work. I beg your pardon, it wasn't what I thought I'd got because I made a boo boo. Uh oh, Alfie's got it. I'll be back. Oh. Well, it was small and neat, but it's all fine. It's okay. Thank you, darling. Um, that was in the next package. And that one is in the next passage. So, beg your pardon. This was back as well. So, goody goody goodies. Get the camera straight because it's not straight. So, I bought the 2019 Monthly Planner, and it's Thomas Kincaid. And um, I thought it might be bigger than that, but actually it doesn't bother me. It's quite nice. It'd be quite nice. It's very thin, so that will be going in the handbag as my diary, I think that one. And then I bought uh, Thomas Kincaid Painter of Light and Thomas Kincaid Studio Coloring Book. Um, now they're both, they both got rounded corners and they're both about the same size. So let's hope this, this is Disney's Dreams Collection. So, the paper is, it's like thick copy paper. I don't think it's, no, I don't think it's thingy. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'll do a quick flip of this one and then we'll have this one. So I'll move that, oh, I can't move that to the way, I hold it there. Um, so this is all Disney colors. So, of course, we've got, just bear with me a second, guys. Oh, dear. It's just been one of those days today. So, oh gosh, sorry, neck crunched. Um, so we've got our colour guide and then we've got our page. Um, probably by the end, just at this moment, I'm looking at the darks, I'm looking at the lights. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to use. How's your mum? Oh, bless. Oh, little frogs look singing. That's a oh. little mermaid. Have you managed? 
Oh, oh my goodness me. Bungle. Oh, Bungo. Bungo wants feeding. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bungo wants feeding. Um. So we've got our... And what I wanted to check was... The drawings match the colour guide because on a lot of them, the colours, the, the highlights and the lowlights are in a different place. And that's always quite difficult. So, um, so sometimes the, if you're doing something, you need them to be exact. That looks quite similar. It's not so bad. It would be able to do something with that because you've got the highlights. So the very accurate drawings, which are good for color color work. And it's Pinocchio, Snow White discovers the cottage. So. You know, you can put some darker greens in there and, and highlights. Beauty and the Beast. There's Dumbo, some beautiful greens in there, like that. Um, we, so that's quite nice. And again, there's a good drawing in there to colour, so it's always nice. bunnies so it's a very accurate drawing to go with the color guide and that's really important because if you're trying to co color something and you're using a color guide it's so off-putting if it's not just so it's Alice in Wonderland Sleeping Beauty and the frog and the little mermaid there's quite a lot of detail in there as well Absolutely scrummy colours really are yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at the reflection. So I do a quick flip of this. Again, Beauty and the Beast. who Alfie needs lady to teach him how to be a lady because <laughs> Alfie's a naughty boy. One of the poor again. Jungle book. Tangled's in there as well. So wonderful is that. Pinocchio. Bambi. Oh, look at that Minnie and Mickey Mouse and the sweetheart. Little mermaid. Snow White again, Fantasia,
I can feel a watercolour coming on, I think. Unless I do pastels. Sleeping Beauty again, Peter Pan's Neverland. You see, it has to be something you can kind of dot onto colours. Pinocchio again, Alice in Wonderland. Little Mermaid again. So you've got some nice rocks there and water. The colours are so different. They are amazing. They're wonderful colours. Again, Bambi's first year. Lady and the Tramp. And it's a good, quite good drawings that really correspond to the colour guide. Um, because normally they don't, and it's so hard to colour, but you can get a real accurate drawing. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. The roses are beautiful as well. I mean, you don't have to do them these colours. You can do your own colours. Um, I think the dough and watercolour pencils I think I'm going to use because um, I had a really nice... Let me hold that out if I can. I had a... Oops. On um, on Joanna's magical jungle, you can have a, an awful lot of control, and so I think I'm going to use Dermot watercolor pencils because you can really build up some reality. So I think that's what I'm going to use because I do like, I'll have to watch the video because I can't remember how I did it, but I think I used three different colors. And then I manipulated them to blend them as a watercolor. Um, the same with these, I, I seem to think that some of the flowers will look quite nice with this type of effect. So going from purple to blue, definitely from purples to blue. So yeah, I think I kind of like that. So um, I might write a note to myself. Um, Derwent watercolour pencils, as in Joanna Basford's jungle book, magical jungle page. Blended on the page. I think that's how I did it. So I'm going to stick that there and then I can't help stick it there and then I can't help but see it. Oops, because I have a bit of a memory like a sieve. So where did we get to? I love the cottage. And of course, the warm light coming out. The princess and the frog. Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. And Tangled. And then there's Way the Pooh and the Sleeping Beauty. Bambi's first year, oh my goodness me. And the last one is The Little Mermaid. So 
So that was a really, really good book. There's a lot of pages. I remembered. I remembered when I was looking, it said it had quite a few pages. So that is a gorgeous book. And then we'll do Posh Colouring Book, Thomas Kincaid, The Painter of Light. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful. Um, Abundant Harvest. It's a beautiful one, is that one? Um, Boulevard Lights in Paris. Um, and again... There should be some umbrellas there, but that's fine. There's the buildings, the lampshade, and it corresponds with what's happening, so that's quite good. I love these colours. I think I might try to copy the colours. Can't better them. So I think... And... That would be nice to get the reflection if we could on there. So clock, clock tower cottage. Oh my, and they're beautiful, beautiful. Um, and you can see the paint. <laughs> you can see those. So, so that's quite nice and that's wisteria. mill all these gorgeous little cottages again you would probably have to work light to dark if you're doing a watercolor pencil um i think i might try to put them in and blend them together i think Gonna be a challenge. There are some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. But you would pick the palest, do all the railings, that palest colour, and then when you finish the rest of it, you then do the shading and you build up the shadows. But you can't put highlights in, you have to leave them in first. So you put the highlight in and then you work around them. If you're doing it with Derwent watercolour pencils. So all the stones would be that colour. Although last time I blended it on the paper, so maybe I'll try that. But there are some yummy, yummy, yummy colours there. And so many pages. It's going to be so wonderful to colour this. There are so many wonderful colours. And a little cottage. Mountain chapel. I mean, the skies are just amazing. I'm not sure if I can get the same skies, but we'll have a go. And of course, because I'm using watercolour pencils, once it's dried, because I'm using it as a watercolour, but once it's dried in a day or so, I can go back and build up colour. But what I can't do is do it there and then. But there's no reason why you can't come back to it. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Hubby made me a cup of tea. Right, just halfway through the book. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so very impressed. <coughs> Absolutely very impressed with that. Very scrummy. Very scrummy. <coughs> you can see the 
delphinium colors in the the pencils and also if you use it as a um, I think I had it in a sketchbook and then blending it on a page I think that's what I'm going to do again the light the light from the sky and the light from within <coughs> And the two cats sitting on the top there. Definitely the painter of light. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. <coughs> goodness look at that little cottage you could almost knock on the door and go in couldn't you that's beautiful the light coming from the cottage as well are you being a bad puppy Alfie cross so can't wait to start these really can't wait to start these um that's just wonderful colors wonderful colors hope I can do it justice gosh you keep thinking you're finished the village lighthouse that's wonderful with the smoke coming out <clears throat> So many cottages and autumn and winter trees as well. It's quite wonderful, is that? Now, I don't know anything about Thomas Kincaid, so apologies. Sorry, King Kane, I beg your pardon. I just realised. No, it says King Kade. That looks like an N, but it's a D. So that is quite good. Published 2016. So I have got two wonderful colour books to colour. So there's the Disney Dreams collection and the Posh colouring book. So thanks for watching. That was a quick flip. And next week definitely we'll be doing some more Ivy and Inky Butterfly and starting work with these with my Doe watercolour pencils. Oh, hi, Barbara. Welcome. Welcome to Bunny's Designs. I didn't realise I was live. I, I was just thought, I don't know what that means. I just thought. It isn't a grayscale, no, darling. It's all just black and black and white. They're all black and white. Accurate drawing. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yes, I, I found it by accident, and then I, I could just thought I thought I'd bought some uh, some Margaret Tarrant ones, but I hadn't. I'd bought these um, because I did say I wasn't going to buy any more color books, but I just couldn't resist these. I saw the colors and just thought they were absolutely spectacular. So, um, so I'm pretty sure that I'll be using my Derwent watercolour pencils, but I'll be using them on a paper palette because that's how I did the other ones. Um, I think I'll be using them on a paper palette and that's how I did this. I think there's two or three parts to this. Um, 
and it's it's the I think it's the C Y extra extra strength. Um, so what I probably will do is a page of color for each page because there's a lot of colors in here. I mean, I only used about I used three colors for the I think I used three colors for the for the branch and two or three colors for the the bluebells. Um, but of course that was making my own colors up um this is the first one and am i going to do the first one let me have a quick look um again now there isn't a, a border round but um that's fine there's a there's a thin border probably five millimeters round um i think the sky probably needs to be done first Um, I've, I don't know how I'm going to tackle it, actually. I am quite tempted to do the house first, do the buildings first and do the background last, which is obviously the wrongest, wrong way around when you're doing watercolours or you're doing any kind of painting. If you were tackling this in acrylic soils or watercolour, you would do the background and then you would do the house and then you would do the trees. And then you would do the foreground, middle ground. Then you do the fore, uh, the foreground, um, and then you would put the finishing highlights on. But obviously, I'm not painting that way. I'm painting. I, I'm coloring. Um, it's quite. It's not the thickest paper, but it's not dead thin. It's probably printer paper a hundred. It tells you what it is. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's printer paper 100. So that means it's it's thicker printer paper, but it's not dead thin. That's what it feels like. This is this is photo this is photocopy paper. Um and this is this one. So it's it's probably a hundred, maybe a hundred and twenty. So it won't take a lot of water. Um, yeah, I think I I just think I'd do this the palest colour and then build up the shadow and then the roof. Um, now the sky. Um, that one's drawn in, that one's drawn in, and that one's drawn in, but the mountain one isn't drawn in. I think that's the mountain. Um, so skies, I could make it a blue sky. I'd love to be able to try and get these colours, but I'm not sure I'm clever enough. Oh yes, you can't take the pigment from the directly from that. You need, like I was doing here, I do the same with the Derwents, and then you can mix two two colours together to get the right colour. There's a couple of videos, and what you do is you scratch it on the end, and then you you show it. So there's a few videos when I'm using the Der watercolour pencils, I, I make the colour, I match the colour up. So there'll be a lot of colour mixing and colour matching. And then you, you take it to where it disappears and you know that's the colour for that particular space. Does that make sense? Um, this was just, when, it, when it's a simple make-believe colour and you're just making it up, that's fine. But when you want to uh, be quite accurate, you need to mix your colours. And just with these pencils, um, and, and the intense blocks, um, as I said earlier, you know, they're very strong. So using them on a palette, you can get some beautiful solid. I've forgotten what I was working in. I have no idea what I've been working in. Oh, I know what I did. I think I've been working in this one. I've been working in this one today. What did I do? Have a look. What did I do in this one? I thought 
I was working in this one today. Oh, wait a minute, I've got a sticker. Oops. Got this sticker. Oh my goodness me. No, I wasn't working in that one. I can't remember what I did earlier. <laughs> have a look what we got here. might be this one working with the owls that's what i was doing i've just remembered owls we want some owls oh dear and that's ink tense blocks that's what <clears throat> there's a video on that get these lovely soft beautiful very pale colors from these really strong watercolors i'd like to know what i was doing earlier but is it summer nights i don't know what i've done with summer nights i think i was working in summer nights <sighs> Yeah, I think I was working with Summer Nights. Yeah, there it is, right in front of me. So I was working with the ink, all oh, the ink tents from Derwent. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I will. I remember to, to, to do Big Ben. <laughs> Actually, I thought there was something missing. So this one, I don't know if you can see the colours, they're quite soft. They're quite soft colours. And they were done with Inktense pencil, Inktense block, and the Inktense water. Just to prove that we could use them all and get really lovely soft colours. Um, and I really enjoyed working that way. I think the light's just gone a bit funny now. Yeah, after a certain time when it goes dark in England, the lights just start to do crazy things. That's mm, it's a not brilliant, that one. But you can see some of the colours. Can see some of the colors so next week um definitely be um working in this one i may do the first one as a video um and i think i'm going to be using the dough watercolor pencils what did i write down there yes i did i wrote down dough so again the dough watercolor pencils to mix the color um, and the, I will be making a colour, a colour book. The little colour book will have the colours in to correspond because I've got two little books with C white extra wet strength. So that means that I can keep the two books of colour that I make for these two books. I can keep them separate because I do have several little books like this. Um, so I can scratch colour in and it'll be page one, scratch colour, page two. But um, I'm be using it as a palette, so there'll be a lot more mixing of colours. It wouldn't be any set colour like we did with this one. We'll do set colours, take it with you. This one is actually looking at the colour, selecting the pencils, and blending and making the colours, mixing the colours to get them exact. So thanks, guys. Um, just, oh, Alfie's arrived. I'll drink my tea, guys. Um, everybody's disappeared. I went into panic. 
Um, I went into panic mode and then everybody's come, everybody's come back. So, um, the black lines could, could, um, maybe the black lines would spoil it, but, um, Again, you've got the wooden things, and then you've got dark, and then you've got a shadow. So, um, and of course, we've got the white highlights. There's all the white highlights that you've got to kind of think about. Um, they haven't put the tree growing round, so that's interesting. They've missed the tree off. That's quite interesting, that. Um, Hi there. Yeah, they've missed that off. I don't know whether I want to put it in. I think they're all dark, so I would be able to. It's just oh. you've got a black line through things, so we'll have to see. So thanks, guys. That's next week's project. And <clears throat> I will be working with my dear wife. And in here, I have um, I have a few watercolour brushes. I think I'm going to take those out because I, I damaged them earlier. So in here, I've got my Derwent watercolour pencils. I've got my Prisma watercolour, Prisma colour watercolour pencils. And I've got my Caran d'Ache um, Swiss colour. which They're all watercolour, they're all water-based. And instead of having three different sets of pencils, I put them in colour order. So um they should match a little bit actually that's a bit dark they're a bit darker um i'm gonna use i think i'm gonna use my old set my new set i'll have a think i may use the new set because i may use the new set um thinking about it because if we're going to do the color matching the colors have got to match if the pencils have got to match so let me just pop those in there. So that means using these babies. <laughs> so this, these are my watercolors. So they're my watercolors. The don't watercolor pencils, um, one to seventy-two. They're all numbered kept them in numerical order and then on the other side of my new babies I don't think I want to blend these these are for my paintings and then I've got the browns and the greys on that side there um so I may, I may leave those out because I may forget um oh no they're all on that one they would be wouldn't they you have to take all those off. Yes, they would be. So I'll have a bit of a play. Um, so that's, I'll leave them out because otherwise I will forget. Um, but the my new light fast will be used for that. So thanks, guys. Have a wonderful um have a look, wonderful week hopefully next week may try and get on at the weekend just have to see um so that's two color books for next week thanks for joining me guys have a wonderful afternoon thanks for watching